A muck bangin', muck bang. A we hangin', we bang. A we bangin'. What's up, Yummy Biters? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all, today we are having homemade tacos. Mine are homemade. Murder shows came from um, Tortas Las Lardas. <laughs> Street tacos, fajita yes. and cilantro. Fajita beef. Yeah. Okay. And I have my um, cilantro lime jalapeno sauce. And we have cucumber, lime, and lemonade frescas. Mm. Uh huh. Yes, Lord, please yeah. let it be good. Delicious. Oh, it's good, huh? It's like cucumber, nice and healthy tasty. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, y'all, my tacos are bean, cheese, and um, pico de gallo. Delicious. Who ready? Taco <laughs> toes. Let's get it. Asking God to bless us. We buy ahead and give thanks. Amen. Amen. These better be good. I swear to God. Oh. Mm. Y'all know I gotta dip it. Oh God, I just knew everything was gonna fall apart. Oh, look at that. Yes. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I knew it was gonna be good. Mmm. Mm. Happy Taco Tuesday. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Outstanding tacos. Are they good? Mm. Mm -mm. Always. Delicious. Oh my God. Okay, y'all. So these tortillas that I use are one carb. Okay. That's what that's what it said. That's what the package said at least. Um and yeah, it's supposed to be healthy. So mm. and the brand is called mmm. Mr. Tortilla. I think they're advertising on TikTok and YouTube, I do believe. Mm. So yes, what the drink? That's so good. <clears throat> we got a topic. So who's ready? I can't think of my mouth. Lip gloss. Oh my man, you know what I'm talking about. Nah. Jeez, what freaking ways. Y'all, let me eat a little bit though, because your girl is hungry. Uh. -oh. Mmm. Mmm. So y'all. Will Smith resigned from the Academy. Before they could do their little investigation and see if, you know, they could kick him out, he resigned. I say, uh, good for him. <laughs> That's what I say. What do you say? I don't know what everybody else saying, but that's what I said. <clears throat> yeah, I don't really care if one way or the other. I don't really have an opinion. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I guess that's a smart thing to do when the heat about to come down on you. Go ahead and quit first. 
save face. Now he don't have to deal with being like scrutinized and yeah, you know, and, and then possibly reprimanded or whatever, and kicked out, you know. I knew he didn't care that much about um, the Oscars. Like he shouldn't. It's just a freaking award. You know? Mm -hmm. We used to couldn't even attend the Academy Awards. You know what I'm saying? Or they used to have to like be in a separate um, like place in the back. You know, to be able to attend. Yeah, I honestly think we should boycott all this stuff. Remove ourselves from all this stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, they make these right in front of you. Fresh. She took some cucumbers and what, uh, liquidized them? Or however they do it, I don't know. Her back was, um, based towards You seen me. the fresh uh, fruit in yeah, the Yeah, I did. So did. Mm. So y'all, I am still having problems <laughs> with my stomach. I talk about it on the Family Vlog channel if y'all want to follow over there. My um, what do you call it? Yummy Bites TV behind the scenes. Yeah, y'all. So that's why your girl is eating light. But this is good though, honestly. I don't think I've ever had tacos with um beans. Only. And no meat. But they're good. Oh, this meat is so good. <laughs> <laughs> this dog on beef for heat. I mean, they got a good taste and good quality. Mm -hmm. I love these right here. They give you so much beef on there. Yeah. You gotta pay an extra, um, $2 or something like that. Because normally, they put that beef on the smaller corn mm -hmm. tortilla, so they have to charge you extra because it's bigger. Okay, where's my phone? <clears throat> now, let's get to the nitty mother flipping gritty. Oh, you know what? Let me look up because my good sis want me to um want us to talk about this story. Is this it right here? Oh, okay. So not only did Will Smith, uh, thank you, Uniqua uh, Anderson. Thank you, girl. Not only did uh, Will Smith resign from the Academy, um, the producers have um, put to a stop to production of uh, Bad Boys 4. Who knew they was gonna have a Bad Boys 4 because Bad Boys 3 was terrible. My God. Martin was not gonna be in it. <laughs> huh? Mar of course Martin's gonna be in it his freaking movie. But he the, one, he the reason it wasn't funny, right? And he just, you know, God yeah. bless him, I still love him. I know. But Excuse me, the whole thing. And they said, um, in a Netflix movie as well. So, oh my God. I wonder if he cares. Uh, she said, not sure, but I think he will see that moment um, as not worth it. You think so, girl? Um, when he looks back at the consequences he is facing. Love you, queen. Sure. Love you too, girl. For sure. Sure. I mean, he's already, he's probably already regretting it. Yeah, it's not like he but, made a conscious decision. Like, he contemplated about it and like, I don't want to do this. Like, he's just acting in the moment, he, you know? Yeah, he yeah. Made, he's human being. He made a mistake. We yeah. lash out sometimes. It's in our DNA. You know what I'm saying? We got the two sides of our brain. We got the reptilian base that will lash out at you, but you got the mammalian that sits on top of it that keep it in check. You said mammalian? Mammalian, you know, the mammal. Oh. It's like a... You know, we like a hybrid. Well, um, 
Yeah, he's probably going to regret it. But I think he's going to be good, honestly. Like, I... I mean, yeah, he ain't going to be in the pole house. They trying but... to really tear him down, and they trying to leave him with nothing. That's what they're trying to do. In my opinion, I feel like that's, that's the you energy. You can never leave him with nothing when he already... It ain't like he... What he's doing now, he's just working really for the benefit of others, for the benefit of his children's children. He already taken care of for life. His kids taking exactly. care of for life. He's, what he's working for is really for the benefit of others at this point. He don't need to work no more. Um, life with NEJ. Um, don't say anything. Just read it and tell me if you want to talk about that because I I don't know anything we can. about it. I don't really know anything about it. Me either. neither. It would I be don't interesting either. to talk about. What's that mean? Don't I don't say know. Gay bill. Don't say. I gay. just said don't say anything, and <laughs> well, that's exactly I mean, what you say did. It. Oh my god, I'm taking that out. We we have to decide whether we're gonna talk about How it. How we gonna talk? Yeah, well, yeah, we can talk about it. You know, I don't have a problem talking about nothing. I don't know about well, look it up. what is going on. Um, I think it got something to do, if if I could be wrong, but look it up. But I think it got something to do with, like, these... Because in school, they was teaching uh, kids, like, in young kids. Kids that ain't had no business, even... They're not even developed in that part of their lives, like, sexually, to even be thinking about gay and straight and all of that. And the school was introducing this to these children. So this group of parents got together mm -hmm. and, you know, to fight back against that, mm -hmm. I think that's what this don't say gay bill might be about, that they can't bring it up in school like okay, from, see. like, kindergarten through third grade or something like that. Really? Which is good, because the children need to be protected. Okay. Okay, so what? People don't want their kids being taught about gay in the third in kindergarten through third grade. Were they teaching kids about Yeah, that's what they was doing. That's what they was doing. Oh, okay. So they so they'll be able to make the, up their own minds if it it To me they trying to influence the kids by coming mm -hmm. at them with that before they even ready to even you know make what I'm a saying? Yeah, they ain't even they ain't even to that point in their life yet. To where they can make a decision. They ain't okay. even thinking about that. They're not thinking with this down here. You know what I'm saying? Like, come mm -hmm. on. Because they don't know anything about that. You're introducing that to them. Like, it's feel like, you know, it's like, come on. Oh, excuse me. Man, mm. I feel like it's an agenda against God's children. Like, something has been, we are, have already been attacked on a, on a, on a biological level. Because, you know what I'm saying? Just looking at what, looking at the abundance of this, what's going on. It wasn't like that 30, 20, 30 years ago. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. Something's going on. Something, we are under attack. And now we've been under attack biologically. Now they're attacking the kids just outrightly, just as a, you know, jumping on them at a young age. Kids need protection. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a shame. Talk to, so talk to somebody in kindergarten or first grade or second grade about sexuality. I don't even know nothing about it. You need to be locked up. You're a sexual predator. They don't know one thing about it. That's a predator to talk they to kids about sex that, at that young age. Shouldn't we leave that up to the parents? Exactly. Exactly. They shouldn't be learning that in school. <laughs> exactly. There's what so the much hell? other stuff kids can learn in school. Like, mm -mm, that shouldn't be on the curriculum. Yeah, these people are out of control. They need to be, be uh, you know, gathered up <laughs> and getting and put in line. That's out of control, bro. Wasn't nobody ever in school trying to teach people, trying to teach the little boys, Okay, yo, you need to be, you know, liking girls. No, but you don't go and teach that to children about that. Ain't got nothing to do. You ain't that ain't none of your business. Right, exactly. I know, huh? <laughs> All right. You ain't think they are, bro. Mm. Satanic. Um, let me see. Tim Wesley. Oh, thank you, Josh. Um, Joss. For sending me that. Um, let's see. Okay. 
Okay, let me go to mine. You ain't gonna say about it? We done with that? I mean, yeah, I, I, I don't have too much to say. I agree with what you're saying. I mean, it's just that's, it's just simple to me, <laughs> honestly. Like, you know, I don't think that kids should be learning about sex. Do you think kids in, in high school should be learning about sex? Should, should they be taught in high school? Now, we know not elementary school. I mean, in a way, I think, yeah, you should teach kids how to be responsible and how, how much responsibility come with that that type of thing. I don't mm. think that uh, in there teaching people that they have a choice to make, that's not the thing they need to be being taught. Oh, they they were giving the kids choices and to see, see what they wanted to pick? Oh, yeah, and introducing they them age? to it. Yeah, and so oh. introducing them to it. Oh, so this is, this is not about safe sex. This is not about just learning no. about sex. This, this is about, is about whether you want to be this or that. Okay. Yeah, no. They don't need to be getting, uh, mm -mm. not in elementary school. Not, not, not in any grade, school. Not, not even four or fifth Nowhere grade. in school, Leave period. Alone like, you stuff. should be able to make up your own mind without having to be influenced by a class at school. You know what I'm saying? Like... That's a personal choice. That's it's personal. That's nobody's business. Anyway, yeah. they need to be so teaching these kids to, to, to practice abstinence. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And protect their energy and don't be out here being sexual. That's the only thing that they have any business teaching these kids. The hell is wrong with these people, man? They need to be locked up. Yeah. <clears throat> um. And what else? Um. Oh yeah, y'all. There's there was a uh, I don't know if y'all heard about this or not, but there was a mass shooting. Oh excuse me, um, in Sacramento, California, they said it was like downtown at a club. It happened like I believe the day before yesterday, like early in the morning, like you know after the club type hours, and um, they said like 18 people got injured. And six people um, were shot dead, y'all. They have um, they have surveillance um, footage. They haven't showed like the footage yet, but there was a lot of people with cameras out there. And y'all, it sounded like a freaking war. Like I couldn't believe it was how that many. Much it was one person yeah. shooting or a bunch. No, of they said it was several people. It was wow. several people. Did they catch them? Um. I'm pretty sure they're going to catch They haven't caught them yet. What? But they have, you know, cameras all around. You know what I'm saying? Um, downtown. I guess it's downtown Sacramento, I guess. Anyway. Oh, but that's, whew. Man, people out here be. Wow. All kind of it was um, a three, three men that died and three women. So. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. It's out of control. Out of control. Like, when are people going? Well, you know what? It's probably young people. Like, y'all, stay out them freaking clubs. And You know what I'm saying? Where all that stuff be getting started, where people be getting drunk and belligerent. It, those are really dangerous yeah. places to be right now. Drunk people are right dangerous now. people to be around. You know what I'm saying? I hope my kids, oh, God, please, Jesus, keep them out of harm's way. Because I guess young people, they just don't understand. They don't get it. They do not get it. You can have fun. You could, um, you know what I'm saying, do something at home or, you know, just go somewhere where there's not a whole bunch of people where you won't be in danger of somebody doing something harmful to you. Young people, the opposite, though, they seek to be where everybody is. I know. And I, you know what? And I understand because I used to be that person. <clears throat> I wanted to be right in the mix. But <laughs> back then, I feel like it wasn't as dangerous as it is now. And I feel like if you know that it is a dangerous time, stay in the house or, you know what I'm saying? Go to a little lounge or something. Not that nothing can happen there, you know. Or just, you know, go to brunch. That's fun, y'all. Brunch is fun. Shit, so y'all but at home. <laughs> because guess what? Brunch could get shot at Exactly. Too. I just remember 
It happened in the Galleria area. In the Galleria area. You wouldn't have never thought. You know what I'm saying? That's where you go and, you know, sit on the um, patios of these restaurants and, do, like, live your best life and have drinks with your girls. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> have fun in the sun. <laughs> Baby, they are shooting those up. I literally can't. Folks can have good fun no more. The beaches are getting dangerous. I don't know about um Galveston Beach, but I've been hearing a lot about these Florida beaches. My God. What about? Them? Like this is wild. People getting arrested. Just this is wild. Look at that alcohol. Yep. <clears throat> There's always people full of alcohol getting arrested. Mm. People getting full of weed don't ever get arrested. Yeah. <laughs> what? Because they be staying out of trouble. They be low key. You know oh what I'm saying? God. Keeping an eye on everything. It be the drunk fools out there acting a fool getting in trouble. Mm. I need to jump to this subject. Ladies. I know I have the majority ladies up in here. Let me tell y'all something that I know y'all didn't know. Because I just found it out today. Y'all, it's this girl that made this TikTok, right? Um, about our nails, y'all, in these nail shops. Do y'all know that? Let me see. Did I? Um, okay, I have part one. You know those little bits on those drills that they uh, drill our nails with. Do y'all know they're supposed to change those for every single customer? Every single customer has to have a new one or it's not sanitary. Those uh, buffing um, um, nail files, all that type of stuff, they're supposed to use a new one for everybody, y'all. They're not supposed to reuse them and they reuse those. Because I'm never like, um, well, you need to change that. I just let them do my nails, you know? But listen, so she, this girl gives us the 411, hun, okay, on everything. She got a part one and two. Hold up. Are y'all ready for the tea? I'm about to fucking spill it. I'm so tired of the bullshit. Common misconception is um, acrylic is worse for your nails than dip. All that shit. Like, gel's better for your nails. Like, in the, in the long run, nothing is good for your nails, right? Like, just leave them alone. But, um... She's a nail tech. She went this, to school. She got her or license. This, or this, and your finger goes in this. I don't care what it comes in. It's not the product. It's your nail tech's prep work. Example: You go to get your nails done. You see them grab this, right? What's the first thing they do? What's the first thing they Turn do? Turn it all the way up. All the way up. All the way up. And be no. burning your nails. They be uh. Number one, the only speed you are supposed to use on your natural nails is two to three thousand RPMs. Does it burn? Do you have marks in there? Are they really thin? That's because your nail tech is fucking going ham on your on and your fingernails. And that's what happens to all of us. Do not let them use a ceramic bit. Do not let them use a metal bit. These are not meant for your natural nails. These are meant for artificial nails. No. This is a mandrel. These are the sanding bands that fit on your mandrel bit. Okay. This is the only... I don't know if y'all want to hear all that, but y'all... Every single, and I've noticed that every time she wants to start, um, like clearing the old acrylic off of my nails, she uses this big rough one and it burns the bed of my nails. Little do I know she's not even supposed to be using that on my nails because it's thinning out my natural nail. Mm. Y'all, she got a part two to this. She, let me see what else she talk about. Stay um, away from them people, which I need to do. Yeah, people are in her comments like, I need to start doing my own nails because exactly. it's so much stuff they're doing that's unsanitary. Like, and then somebody in the comments was like, well, I told my um, nail tech, um, can you change it? And they were like, no, you know, they it's got like, an attitude. They don't want to change nothing, you know. But what you can do is if they don't want to be sanitary up in there, you can report them to the, uh, to the who? The cosmetology uh, license uh, place. I don't even know where y'all, but y'all know. I just take your business. Just Google it. Okay. 
Welcome back to part two of Nail Salon T. I'm Hold doing up. voiceover because I hate the way I fucking film this. Let's go back to the number one rule. New Maybe file, pleasant. new buffer, new sanding band, up and a disinfected implement after... They're supposed to use a new file, a new buffer, and mm. a new sanding band, y'all. Okay? For your nails. On every person. Please. On that every person. And, okay? They literally keep the the ones that they use on everybody in this little bucket <laughs> waiting on you to come <laughs> and get your nails done on your feet. Okay? In a bucket. Y'all already know what I'm talking about if you're at the nail shop a lot. And... Okay, they're supposed to have those um, buckets of that disinfectant, that hospital grade disinfectant. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what? Y'all probably didn't go to cosmetology school, but I know what it is. We used to have to put our combs and brushes and all of that in there. You know what I'm saying? After every customer, you clean the stuff out and that's what you stick it in. You stick all of your stuff in that solution. They said if they don't have that, they're not um, cleaning, you know, their... Um, like the, the those things that they cut your cuticles mm. with, I heard they're supposed to change those too. Y'all let me know if that's true. That must be real good. Oh my God, it's so good. You didn't taste yours yet, <laughs> especially when you get to the bottom. Yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, what's that lemon, up with the that's bottom? That's when the lemon starts shining through. Mmm. The hell. Mm. Delicious. What else, y'all? Hold up. Every single person. See this blue shit? If it's not going in that blue shit, it's not fucking clean. It has to say all of this shit on here and be a legit disinfectant. Now, in some states, you can use these to clean your tools. After soap and water, you've seen them. They put their tools in there, close it. Now remember the three steps to cleaning. Check your nail ticks, y'all. Check them. And the, now, most of the time when this happens, it's at like a shop. But if you like go to like an individual like nail tech that, you know, owns her own stuff, um, I'm pretty sure they're more clean and more sanitary than the ones in the shops. Because the ones in the shops, they don't care. I bet ain't nobody swapping out after every customer. Nobody. You ain't going to find nobody. nobody. They ain't going to make no that. money. You know, that's they didn't too. do that back in the day yeah. and they not doing it that's now. That's unrealistic. What do you mean they're gonna make? Do you know how much they pay for that stuff? It's cheap. But no, to, yeah, like they I, get it for whole, like on wholesale. Like. Imagine busting something open, using it on one customer, and then throwing it away. Hell no. You but, can go find somebody else to do your nails. They're going against <laughs> the rules. Like they're what they're rule? breaking. What do you mean? TikTok needs to settle. Under on. their license, they're breaking the rules. They can get in trouble for that. They can get fined and all. Like can't they? I know they can. For being unsanitary. All right. Y'all go messing with them Chinese people, them yeah. uh, Vietnamese people. If y'all want, y'all gonna get beat with a broomstick or something. Shut up. They will <laughs> pick it up, though. They do not freaking play. And they go from zero to 100 real yeah. motherfucking quick. Straight up. <clears throat> I'm full. Are the Chinese people the only people not scared of black people, huh? Oh. <laughs> you know what? Don't say that. Oh, my God. No fear at all. Don't say that. Um, okay, so, hold up. <clears throat> I know there's something else I wanted to tell y'all about. The only so non-brown people are not scared of black people. what you say? The only non-brown people are not scared of black people. My boyfriend gives <sighs> me love notes on our ring cam. Okay, so we're at my son. What is all it is? What you looking for? What am I? What? what? I am on the wrong page. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I was on the wrong page. Okay. Okay. Is this it? So I wanted to talk about this mass shooting that happened April 3rd, oh. 2022. So that's the this day. It happened 2 a.m. this morning in Sacramento, California. And not a lot of information is out about it because it just <laughs> happened. I already gave y'all all the information. It happened at 2 a.m. no more. I didn't know that. Um... So I'm going to start you hoes off slow. Hold U.S. Up. foods that are banned in other countries. <laughs> including for you guys, Stephanie, this racist lady, sent me a seat. So I wanted to talk about that. Oh, what what are you doing? Well, you want to talk about oh. that? <laughs> Okay, so in this video, this um, lady sent um, Aunt Karen, she's a famous TikTok um, uh, creator, 
and she sent her a cease and desist letter for making a video about her. Um, I, I don't know what the video was about, but listen. Hello. So I wanted to talk about for you guys. Stephanie, this racist lady, sent me a cease and desist letter for this video here. This is an old story, but I got something to add to it. Besides, I wasn't given a cease and desist. I have a copy of her extremely racist 911. It's so bad. I'm going to go ahead and play it because Dr. Nar deserves to have this nonsense oh, attached yeah. to her name. Howard County Communications, this site's being recorded. How can I help you? My name is Stephanie Nar. Indian neighbors don't do this. My white neighbors don't do this. The only people that act like this are fucking black people. They're the only people that are assholes that act like this in the United States of America. Okay? They are the people that cause ruckus, that cause noise, and that are assholes. And I want the music to stop, and I want to go to bed. Back up. They're a fucking asshole, and they don't care about their neighbors. And that's why I don't want to live next to them. <laughs> Somebody telling her to shut up. Somebody's trying to get her to be quiet. Quiet. Oh, somebody. <laughs> wow. Got some bad neighbors, obviously. Loud neighbors. This is why we don't want to live around neighbors, okay? When we move, when we get our own house, we're not going to have no exactly. neighbors. So they don't have to worry about how much we don't care about them. <laughs> Exactly. They ain't got to worry about or you, it. Or you care, like, you know, I be wanting to turn my music up loud, but I'm like, shit, everybody can hear it. I'm like, you know, exactly. I need to be free. You know? Right, right. But I, I, don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't like when when loud music comes through my neighborhood. I don't like it. I'm not even going to yeah, sit here and I don't like nobody's loud music either. I, don't, I don't care like who it, it is. I especially I don't I, I I guess I'm getting older. I don't like when That's I hear them. Exactly don't come through here with no bumping cars. Like Lord exactly. have mercy. Who's can focus this with a bumping car coming right. through? Here? Turn right. Turn the damn shit down. Like come on, this is not a bumping car neighborhood. Yeah, I, I used to didn't care. I'm not gonna lie. Like I used to didn't care, but once I got older, it started to irritate me. Yeah, it really does irritate me. <laughs> now what I don't mind is having loud music in the car <clears throat> while I'm riding, but I'm not gonna be bumping it to where. It sound like I got a You don't home, have that kind of system in your uh, car. It's these boys with this, you know, they got big speakers in the trunk and they come through. It's bah, ridiculous. Bah, 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 bah. Like, that one person, yeah. I don't know who it is yet. But you hear But him. I want to catch yeah, him yeah, so bad. Yeah. I mean, I want to know I've who I've heard him enough, is. so I'm like, oh, you live here, huh, or something. Like, That's, I know. Or you got a girlfriend <laughs> yeah, over here Yeah, you live here all the time, huh? <sighs> it's so annoying. Y'all don't even understand. Like, and it's at night. And then you say you saw somebody riding a bike with no shirt on or something? Yeah, I did. It goes the neighborhood. Look, y'all. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I was surprised because I never see nobody. First of all, people don't even ride bikes over here. You know what I'm saying? And they really just don't. We never see anybody riding any bikes. But I, and then I, I saw him, and I was like, what? <coughs> I just thought maybe he was a visitor. It just shocked me to see That's him probably with the no same shirt one bumping. on. That's probably the one bumping. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can understand her pain. I, I can. Who about about wanting to go to sleep and people got loud music going on? She and don't is care. being racist, talking about um, 
talking about it's just the black people. What? Well, no. it ain't just Sorry. black. It be the Spanish too. Mm-hmm. You, you know, it don't, it don't, it be, it don't everybody, be the white people. Everybody, everybody. Don't never, I don't never hear no loud white music. <laughs> Are you kidding? You don't never hear loud rock. I don't you never, don't hear, never no, hear I've loud. Never, I've never. Wait, one time, one of man over here, he was playing some pour some sugar on me one day. In his front yard. I'm like, what the hell is going on? That was one time. I've never in my life heard. I ain't heard nobody no play white no person loud playing no loud here. music and I can hear that shit. No, never. It, it be us. It be us. Well, We're maybe we ain't been to We're the right neighborhood. I, I, I don't feel offended by her getting mad because we be bringing the ruckus. I know we are loud and we play loud music. It's a lot of I people that it. are loud. I accept it. I know Italians loud. A lot of people loud. Anyway. I, I accept it. I ain't mad. I'm not offended. Are you offended by what she said? I'm not I'm offended, not offended but she that was rude. I mean, that was rude. <laughs> oh, and then she, and now everybody heard her say o'clock. it. She just want to go to sleep at ten o'clock. Lord have mercy. They I mean, I don't, my, I don't, I don't um, blame her wanting to go to sleep. These at houses 10. are so close together. Okay. That, so that's the problem. When you get old, that's the time you go to bed. <laughs> what do you say? These houses are too close together. I bet you, like, if I when we turn our music up loud, especially if I turn it up in the in the in the room up there. I'm sure the neighbors can hear that. They can hear that bass. Yeah. Yeah. So, the you know, the walls lucky. are thin. Like. Yeah. They're lucky we're not like young with no kids and stuff. Yeah, I feel like it be bumping at 2 o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. 4 o'clock in the morning. I just got off live. I'm turned up up in here. You know? <laughs> it's my house. They probably would be hating that. Anyway. It was like my first neighbor. That's rude. Say, if I live in, in a white neighborhood, I know that's what not happen. Like... White people aren't capable of being loud or, you know, they are having capable, a good but time. But let's be or, honest. In nine or, time out of ten, if you hear a car bumping, who's driving it? These days? Honey, nine time out anybody could be driving uh-uh. it. Nine times out of ten, if you see a car that's bumping, who's driving nine it? Nine times out of ten, whatever. Who's driving it? Okay. Anyway. If you can hear some loud music coming out of somebody's backyard or something, who, whose house is it? It's... <laughs> okay. All right. Who cares? Be, and Spanish, well, Spanish We're guys allowed be, to have fun. Spanish, be, Spanish will have some club speakers outside. Yeah. Trying to play it for the whole block and, yeah. we, and doing it all night and long. And they'll invite you to come go and get you some the whole weekend. And, 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 and y'all, they food be so good. Have y'all ever had it? Like, oh my yeah, god, the they will good. offer you food. But that goddamn baseline and that bump, you bump, you bump, you bump, you bump, you bump. Is that you Wake it? up in the morning. And it's the same baseline going nah. on. Like, dude, do y'all what's, ever go to sleep, bro? What's the one where um it sounds like um and this is no shade? <laughs> I'm not gonna say what, what? it sounds like. I'm what does it sound like? like? You know what I'm talking about? That what? music that it, it all be sounding the same. That, it got that um, same it got the accordion in it. <laughs> yeah, it got that accordion. How does it go? Though? I don't. You know what I'm talking trying, about? It, it sounds like music. circus music. In in it circus? I don't know. That is I, I not an insult. Can y'all turn it down? It's the um, what is it that sound like the circus? What's that? What's that? Um, it's it's that accordion, huh? Yeah, that's, that's okay. what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people yeah. don't they, don't bring speakers outside. Like, come on, Kylie. Yeah. Didn't they used to turn it on like early in the morning, something like that? <laughs> Didn't they turn it on early so, in the morning? No, it would be it would be on all night. They would be <laughs> Friday night. It would start. <laughs> And then all night Friday, yeah. Saturday morning, yeah, and all and day Saturday, stop. they wouldn't stop till Sunday. Yeah, it was it was a couple of day party. Yeah. And Jamaicans <clears throat> loud too. Remember the Jamaicans? Oh my God! Lord have mercy, bring literal club speakers outside. Club no. speakers. This thing was a no, DJ at the club. No, they weren't Jamaicans. They weren't he Jamaican. Jamaican. Let's get it right. He was not a Jamaican. He was um he was from the islands, but it wasn't Jamaica. It wasn't Jamaica. What does it start with? A B? Um. Uh, Maya wanted to be one of them so bad, y'all. Yeah, when I Belize, t- or something? no, no. Anyway, yeah, not Belize. Um, yeah, anybody's capable of bringing music, but then again, once again, that's us. That's still us. Yeah, yeah. I want to listen to her cry again. That was comedy. That was oh. funny to me. That white woman. She was crying. Crying about it. I mean, it's you know crying. Oh. Really, it's tears and that shit. That's what I call crying. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. I don't care. It's true. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, funny. it's whatever. Yeah, I be wanting to turn my cousin. You know, I'm I, I'm civilized. I be in the backyard. I have my little, I have my little thing. 
And you I gotta wanna, go. I want to turn it up loud, but I'm like, I'm, I'm listening to filthy music. Yeah. People might have they they cheering in the backyard over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be that guy. Like, I don't be caring. Like, when I be in the mood yeah. and I be, you know, on that drunk, yeah. I had to keep on. Like, can you turn shit? Come outside. It just ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. <laughs> like, girl, can you turn that down? That's my song. <laughs> I love that freaking song. House. Yeah, I swear. To, I don't know. I don't be worried about nobody else when we be trying to have fun in the yard. Because that's what we have to have fun. I be you trying to play that? 80s hip hop before we started cousin and shit. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I can't wait till we get to do that again. I can't oh. wait to be free. Have a yard. You can just turn it up. Have speakers outside and shit. Oh, yes. Leave it playing all night if we want. Really? Don't stir nobody. You know, Unlike like, other people. What you mean? <laughs> what you who mean? Who music playing all night and you can hear it? Who? What do you mean who? Who leaves? Are you serious? Who leaves? One of our neighbors? Me? Are you kidding me? I, I don't know. Are you kidding me? You you've ever heard the music? We've talked about it. Are you talking it. about? Yeah, of course. Oh! Oh my God. Anyway. um, Is that but it? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hold on, I got one question. What? This is this gonna reappear tomorrow again? Why? Cause it's like it looked like you got stuff in it. Like it's just freaking tomatoes what or you something. Gonna do? You yes, gonna I'm gonna reuse this. Yes, I am. Yes, y'all. And this is vegan. Okay, if y'all can believe it. Okay, and it's delicious. Taste it and tell me it's good. Please. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm cool. Come on, I'm please. Cool. Cool. It's like not even sour cream. What it's not it even sour cream. What is it then? What, it's what, not. What's, what's just the taste sour cream a little bit. Substitute? Yeah, I've tasted it before. Can't, it's just, this is not the same one. I don't even have nothing to wash it down. Just taste it. Okay. Delicious. Not one bit of cream up in there. Okay. That was good. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already for everyday videos, everyday videos. And we'll see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You hear? Right. Bye.